Whether you're Ron the farmer, or an Indian activist, or a CEO, or a corporate manager working your way up, you can use connectional intelligence. I want you to think about what are the courageous conversations that need to be happening in your business, right? Where are they happening? What are the crowds that you need to be sitting in to have these courageous conversations? And how are you going to prepare for the courageous conversations that your customers will be having, that your manufacturers will be having? The key questions I want to leave you with is are you curating the optimal forums for connectional intelligence? Are you hosting the courageous conversations that need to be happening? The biggest breakthroughs of our time, of the next century, will happen in the power of tens when we bring interconnected thinkers together and source these ideas and actually come up with the next big innovation together. We have technologies where we can start a company off of our laptop rather than working up the ladder for 20 years. And that dynamic has created a whole new wave of young women entrepreneurs that we haven't seen in the past. What we really need to be asking is how are we going to work in a radically different way across generations to drive the processes, products, and innovations that actually solve business challenge. Oreo, the company, came out with an ad on Twitter that said, power out, no problem, you can dunk your Oreo in the dark. <laughs> this ad went absolutely viral. 20,000 Facebook likes, 16,000 retweets throughout the game, throughout the days after. And it was dubbed the best ad at the Super Bowl 2013. Millennials Working with baby boomers and Gen Xers actually hold a key to helping us unleash our connectional intelligence. So when you think about the youngest in your workforce, don't just let them leave their connectional capacity at the door. Right? Ask them how they would solve problems. Ask them where they will go for information. Because those are clues to how your customers might be looking in the next 10 years.